So this video will cover my thoughts and opinions on what could happen to Redwire shares over the next few months. I will go over a case study of a similar situation which occurred with a SPAC merger with a company known as Triteris, who also failed to file a report. But before we go into this, I think it's especially important to note that I'm not a fortune teller nor am I a financial advisor, and as such, treat everything in this video as entertainment and as my thoughts only. Also, I'd like to disclose that I'm currently holding a position in Redwire or RDW, which already should tell you about a potential bias towards the company. Now onwards, towards the main part of the video. Previously in early February, Redwire provided an update on their quarter 3 2021 delayed 10Q filing, which I cover in more detail in the card above. Watch that video right after this one if you're interested. In short, there have still been no material misstatements in previously filed statements, which is great. They also stated that they continue to work on finalising the report. Moving forward to today, nearly two months have gone by without another update, which leads me, and I'm sure many others, pondering how long Redwire may have until they could face serious consequences such as a delisting. To estimate or speculate the potential timeline, I'll look at the story of Triteris, who failed to submit their annual 20F report for the year ended February 28th, 2021. Similarly to Redwire, Triteris also debuted on the stock market via a SPAC. Triteris shares were actually delisted from the Nasdaq and are now on OTC markets. It was decided that they were to be delisted on the 10th of December 2021. This was 285 days from the 28th of February 2021, which marked the final day which was to be included in the report which they missed and the delisting decision. If we extrapolate this and assume that Redwire have the same amount of time, we can speculate that Redwire shares may be delisted or at least under increased scrutiny by mid-July 2022. Of course, I'd like to reiterate that this information is not advice and is just purely speculative. As I currently hold Redwire shares, I feel reasonably confident that the company is making significant progress in the process of sorting out their financials and would hope that the report is released as soon as possible. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below and your thoughts on any potential delistings and when things could turn around for Redwire potentially. Subscribe for more space and stock related news as well as portfolio updates. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button.